I recognize that hoodie. Yep. Oh yeah. It is. Uh, when it, I think I got like the last one or one of the last ones, and I was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> I'm like, I love that hoodie. I'm like, I'm gonna turn the heat down in my house so I can wear yes. that more often. Yes. Like, yes. it's that nice. It's actually sitting right on the back of my chair. <laughs> All right, so Melba, uh, I Melba, I know is sick, so I'll be running the meeting today. Um, give me a few minutes uh, to sort out my billions of tabs um, to kind of bring up the docs here. Right. Uh, feel free to add your attendance to the meeting list and anything um, to the agenda. Here, let me All right, uh, we can get started here. Um, just as a reminder, uh, this meeting is being recorded. Uh, it'll be uploaded to YouTube shortly uh, after, usually within a few weeks. Um, and uh, your um, participation in this meeting is an agreement to abide by the uh, Open SSF Code of Conduct. And we can get started. Um, I don't see anybody new here. Um, so uh, we can sort of skip that. Um, the next up, um, so, um, so first off, I think from the, uh, uh, one second here. Yep. First off for the salsa 1.0 stuff, um, just wanted to extend uh, my deepest thanks to Jennifer and the rest of the uh, Open SSF team um, for for the great uh, announcement and and how well that worked and that was great. It was uh, it, it was awesome. Yeah, I thought it went really well. Nice, nice work, everyone, <laughs> especially all of you here. Um, uh, a true team effort. Um, I think we saw a lot of great press coverage as well, a lot of coverage on social media and a lot of positive feedback. Yep. Um, I think the thing here is, and I know this is something we can't control, but um, uh, better. So 
So one of the things I think um, we noticed, and it's it's like sort of I know it's it's part of the the general game here, and it's not always you know we're never going to be able to get um, folks who are not involved directly with salsa to always report one hundred percent accurate. But I believe that I, I remember seeing a couple of the articles that sort of got a couple of the key details um, wrong on on salsa. And uh, like, for example, I think they still were looking at salsa V0.1 and reporting on the four levels of salsa when it's it's three. Um, and I think uh, one of the things is just like we would love to in the future is like at least if, if any of these folks have questions or whatever to be able to help answer those questions for them so that, you know, um, there's a little bit less of that uh, inconsistency because I know one of the pieces of feedback a little bit from a few folks at KubeCon was like, hey, I saw one thing say there's three levels and another thing say there's four levels. And, um, you know, uh, if, if we can do stuff to to help prevent that, that would be good moving forward. But I, I don't have a great answer outside of like, if, um, if we can kind of, uh, you know, we don't want to do their work for them, but but if we can, you know, help uh, help clarify anything for them in in the future, I think that would be useful. Yeah, and I will note that we did ask for a correction um, for for places where <laughs> there were inaccuracies, um, and they and they were corrected to oh, the best okay. of my knowledge. Um, so yeah, I think potentially maybe we would consider doing an FAQ or something like that, like. Like here are common here are common um, misperceptions or like here's you know highlighting points that changed um, that might uh, trip people up. Cool. 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 Uh, so next, uh, actually, anybody else have any things that regarding like the salsa 1.0 announcement generally? Um, uh, or anything that that they noticed that they wanted to make sure gets sorted out. I, th I think um, one of the things that that came up a, a few times, and I put this as like the last bullet point under here, is like who can say what about salsa compliance? Um, I, like, there's I, I saw some people immediately wanted to to claim they were salsa level three, and there were questions about like whether or not they really were. Um, but also, there's I think more questions along the lines of like, how do I know what salsa level I am? Um, and like, I'm assuming there is um, like I know there's a conformance program coming up, but also like maybe just the more like procedural. Like, I assume salsa is a trademark trademarked thing held by OpenSSF, people can't just go and claim with like free of, of any sort of consequences, whatever they want to about Salsa. Um, now, I don't think we want to step in and like be heavy handed up about any of that. But at the same time, there's like, there's a, like, we don't want to negatively influence the legitimacy of, of the branding and, and such. So I think all of that's just to say, like, there's some urgency around having conformance and, and compliance type stuff delivered yeah so so there's actually some interesting stuff that kind of came out of some conversations also at um kubecon so uh one of the things was yeah so i know that there's still work being done on the conformance program um i know based on some earlier conversations about that conformance program there is like yes uh open ssf owns the trademark uh, the lawyers said that generally the way that they sort of do it is like if somebody is very egregiously um, lying, then yes, we we definitely enforce those rules, um, especially when it comes to usage of certain like, like not, let's say trademarks, like, you know, hey, you could have the salsa goose on your thing if you use, you know, salsa, blah, 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 as long as you make it sure that it's clear that you are not, you know, you're not associated with it, you're just like using salsa or whatever. Um, but the thing is that there, as part of the conformance program, there most likely will be some sort of badge or something like that, and that logo will require um, going through the conformance program, and there'll be most likely two things. One is like a self-assessment that folks will be able to go to, and then there will also be through, um, you know, uh, Salsa, uh, through OpenSSF, I should say, there'll be a program around like certifying auditors or something like that, and those auditors can come in and say, hey, I inspected this person's, you know, internal build system, and I believe it to be salsa level three or whatever, based on this criteria. And I'm asserting, you know, I'm making some sort of att attestation on that. So that's definitely something that's being um, talked through. 
Uh, along those lines, um, I believe a lot of folks are are worried that the conformance program is still kind of not hasn't really um, come together yet. And um, yes, uh, I believe that's still the latest version um, of of the conformance program. And you know, there's some background information regarding the CNCF conformance program. And in fact, actually, I spoke to Chris. Uh, Anixic from the uh, CNCF, and he had expressed actually some concerns about us basing our conformance program on the Kubernetes conformance program, because actually a lot of folks have a lot of issues with that uh, conformance program. But um, I think there's not really a great answer we have right now, and I'm sure the lawyers will help us uh, sort some of this out. Um, so I definitely think we we, we want to make sure that that we sort some of the, the um, Salsa conformance um, uh, stuff out, especially as as soon as possible, because I know a lot of folks are looking to either um, get involved uh, in the salsa auditing process, or the you know, hey, I want to release a build and I want to claim it's salsa, whatever. How do I do that um, without like while making sure that the community recognizes, you know, uh, while following the rules that say, you know, I'm actually doing what 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 I'm claiming to be doing. Um, does anybody, I, I, and I don't know if anybody ha else has any um, information on that. That's kind of the, the last I'd heard. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not sure there's any other topics. Um, I'm, I'm uh, just been attending the meeting for several months, and uh, because I'm not a security person, I try to not to bother the experts. Um, but one thing that uh, I've been uh, reading is the um, the uh, this one, the the tech security white paper, which is kind of the, the, the introduction to security overall in this in this area. Yep. Um, yep. So um, one thing I find uh, um, it probably is going to need to interesting, at least to me, is with now salsa 1.0 uh, formally released. Um, I know there's previously previously some overlap between salsa and S2 C2F, uh, so it probably is, is good to based on the the standards salsa standard to understand. Um, what's S2CTF do and what, where's overlap and you know, what, what's the difference between uh, for a, 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 a developer-focused SaaS uh, um, framework versus the consumer-based uh, framework and you know, where's overlap, what's the difference and how all this contribute and map back to the original white paper. In the, in the white paper, um, if you see that there, there's a couple um, uh, diagram, several, several pictures. A diagram is pretty useful about build and you know, just, you know, those things. How to understand that, you know, uh, the, that paper from the salsa perspective. Um, yeah, I guess using pictures, I guess that's probably uh, is the easier for, for newbies like me to understand the whole uh, process. Yeah, definitely uh, hear you on that one. Um, I know we have uh, some stuff, but it might be useful for um and i wonder if if jay if, if folks like uh, adrian or yourself would be willing to sort of write um up a blog for like open ssf either on like the s2c2f site or or the salsa site to kind of chat through sort of like the the differences between something like salsa and s2c2f Uh, Jay, you there? Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, that, that's definitely something we can kind of, uh, cause I know, yeah, even um, among uh, a lot of folks there, there's some confusion exactly uh, as to um, that. And I, I agree that there probably should be a blog or, or, or also something like a, a paper that comes out of the SCI group so that we can kind of explain the larger uh, supply chain security picture. Um, that would be useful. 
that that's a good uh, suggestion. So let's say if we add the source of content back to the original executed white paper, I know it's a different organization, but if that's a, something can be done, how, how do you uh, map to the to the pictures uh, that the, the workflows in that in that picture in that in that text clear web paper for CNCF? Yeah, so um, that's actually something else that that is happening. Um, so I spoke to Chris also at KubeCon. Um, so I'm also a tag security lead for for CNCF, and. Um, one of the things we had discussed, because uh, something actually that also came out, uh, this was for Salsa v0.1, but there were some, um, uh, let me actually put this over here. Uh, there's Salsa updates. Um, so for Salsa v0.1, 0 0.1 audits done on CNCF projects, uh, I believe one was Argo and there was some other one, hold on. Uh, salsa audits. Uh, and Prometheus. And CNCF is ramping up a salsa audit process, which also is something that I, I said, hey, we need to make sure that kind of comes back into how that is going to work with the conformance process. Um, and so once the conformance process is done, uh, the idea would be, you know, to have folks, um, be able to assess that that's a big thing to Victor, what you were saying. Yeah. So, um, one of the things right now is that like the CNCF doesn't really have like a, you should be doing salsa or whatever as part of its, um, thing. But one of the things that has been brought up is, is potentially to include salsa as like a framework for some of the projects within the CNCF to start using? And then how would that map to the larger sort of supply chain picture? That's definitely something um, that 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 we're, we're thinking about. But I think it, one of the things that, that um, if there's something unclear, I, I definitely recommend if you can to like open up like the issue under the Salsa GitHub to kind of say, hey, like here's some things that, that are not super clear. And it'd be great if like you had something like this diagram in this um, uh, uh, CNCF security white paper, for you know where salsa fits in or something like that and where it maps in. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. Um cool. So yeah, uh what else? Um looking through here. Oh, so um some other KubeCon updates. Uh so I opened up a GitHub issue for this. We got some good feedback. Um, regarding, uh, generally regarding, um, uh, what was I gonna say generally regarding, um, salsa. Um, I posted this also in the, in the document, uh, the general things were, uh, folks are very excited for salsa. Um, no, there's no examples or not enough examples for 1.0 compliance. Um, I know that a lot of the build tools, as far as I know right now, don't support it quite yet, but they will very, very soon. Um, there's still confusion around the change to tracks. Uh, why did we remove the two-person code review? Um, there may be some things we can be a little bit louder about to say, hey, we have the source track and the source track uh, includes the two-person code review and yada, yada. Like, I think the sooner we can kind of get something like that out, even just to say, this is what we're working on right this second, the easier it will be for folks to um, recognize like, oh, we we just sort of separated it out and we were focused on the build track. Um, but that's, that's a big thing, a uh, big piece of feedback. Um, a lot of folks confused about what is required for a 1.0 Salsa build system and how does that conformance look like? How do I make sure I do it without, you know, uh, uh, doing something wrong, yada, yada. Um, there is general worry given that pretty much all the examples today are using GitHub Actions um, and hosted SaaS providers and that people are saying, hey, is Salsa only a SaaS? Like, can you only be Salsa compliant with SaaS? And um, that's obviously not the intention by any means, but I think that's kind of the perception. Um, uh, and so I think that there's some worry there. 
Uh, and that, yeah, and there's just some general worry about, at least some general confusion about what is the conformance program? How is it supposed to work? How do folks get involved? How do folks um, provide feedback? All that good stuff. Uh, with all that said, though, overall, though, um, people seem to be very keen on like the laser focus that that open uh, that uh, salsa provides, like compared to a lot of the other frameworks. They like the fact that, hey, you are super focused on the build. You're not talking about how, you know, here you need to do these 12 million things before you're secure. It's like, here are some specific things you can do, and then we can broaden the scope over time. And you can be, you can focus on the areas that you think you need to focus on, as opposed to just saying you must do these million things in order to even get started. Um, so overall, great, uh, great feedback uh, there. Um, and a lot of folks also seemed very interested, especially from the Europe side, is if we could have some more um, Europe-friendly uh, meetings, uh, that would be um, convenient for them because um, they want to get a lot of folks from, from Europe, especially like Eastern Europe, want to get more involved. But uh, I believe that this, like a lot of our meetings happen um, around this time, uh, which is, is, is a little inconvenient for them. Any uh, questions, feedback, questions, uh, I'm sorry, any questions or feedback on that? Okie dokie. So the only other thing I had on the agenda here before us maybe going back to the list of blogs and seeing um, what other things we can do and what other things uh, uh, from the general day-to-day um, -day SCI work was um, upcoming announcements regarding um, Salsa. And I don't know if anybody, because um, I know we had, uh, Jennifer, correct me if I'm wrong, pretty much tomorrow at 9 a.m., um, the companies who who had all been involved in the PR push um, are allowed to now, so they say, hey, here is maybe something we are announcing. Um, you know, Salsa 1.0 was released last week, and here is a thing that we're releasing, um, you know, uh, as part of Salsa 1.0, or here's our blog sort of talking through um, the details of Salsa 1.0. Is that correct? Correct. Yep. <clears throat> the whole okay. release is tomorrow morning. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so just a reminder, um, 9 a.m. Eastern on April 26th is when... Folks involved. Great blogs about salsa. Cool. Uh, well, my you know myself and my my company will have something interesting to announce tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning, which should, which should be cool. Um, okay. Um, especially uh, specifically related around some of the things that that folks have been expressing some concerns or or some confusion about. Uh, ooh. All right. Uh, any any other questions about the announcements or or anything like that? Okay, if not, um, let's see. Okay, um, cool. So uh, any other sort of business regarding um, updates on some of the Salsa blogs or S2C2F um, updates? I know that uh, I believe, um, Jay, correct me if I'm wrong, Adrian is at RSA to talk about S2C2F. So I was, I'm, doing, I'm doing double time here. I have one. <laughs> I got one uh one meeting on one and one meeting in this meeting here. What was the question again? Uh, I was just curious. Uh, is there any updates on any of the S two C two F um things? Because I know uh yeah, a Adrian's here at RSA with it. He'll be giving yep. a presentation tomorrow. Okay, cool. Um, cool. and of course we'll be doing uh another that panel discussion there at um 
at Open Summit. Mm -hmm. uh, we're currently working on the explanatory report, stuff like that for S2C2F. And of course, we'll be meeting again. So because of RSA and, and all the upcoming stuff where we're, uh, the meetings have, have taken a break until we come back. So um, we'll be meeting again once once uh, once we get through this conference cycle, um, we'll, our meetings will start up again. Um, do need to get keep getting the word out uh, as our focus shifts. Um, Salsa 1.0 is out, we're gonna let that breathe a little bit, but as our focus shifts, um, dive on into uh, S2C2 up and get that uh, get that ramped up as well. Um, well, yeah, no, I, and, and I know definitely from, from our end, we're very interested in seeing, you know, something like a, a presentation or a demo of, yes. of the current, a current state of it. Because I know one of the pieces of feedback also from KubeCon was um, at least from a few folks who were there who had seen some of the stuff from S2CTUF, they had assumed it was just a white paper. Um, oh. and, and I was like, no, 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 it's, it's a framework. It's a, it's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, but I think they were kind of confused by by some of those, maybe the layout of the repo or something like that. Yep. So what we'll, what we'll definitely do, and, and of course, like I said, we have to get back and then ramp up, but we definitely want to bring it before the, the, the working group again. I know that we talked about that at the last working group meeting, as a matter of fact, but definitely bring it before the working group again. Yep. Um, you know, just just to do a, a good presentation on it and, and bring that before. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely put that on the agenda um, once the dust clears on on all these conferences. Yeah, it'll probably be sometime in the next uh, sometime right after Open Summit. The meeting we have after Open Summit, we'll be able to dive right back in into that. And what's great about that is we'll have a a, a bit more. Uh, uh, content to use from the talks and the conferences at that time. So the, so the presentations are pretty much are already written and already done. Just need to polish them up and shape them up, to trim them down a little bit just for the for the working group. But we'll definitely do that. Cool. Yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely um, interested there. Uh, hoping to start uh, being able to attend or at least have somebody um, from my side be able to start attending the S2C2F meetings when they're, once they're back. Um, cool. All right. Um, on uh, the Fresca side, there was also some feedback from KubeCon. Largely, some folks seemed, uh, you know, they they liked the general idea of, hey, here's a thing that can do um, Salsa three. It's it's something that you can run yourself. Yada yada yada. Um, the problem uh, still is, hey, without uh, folks maintaining um, Fresca, it's just gonna sit there and not do anything. Um, and I know from my end, uh, you know, I keep seeing Fresca show up in other people's uh, presentations um, and they say, hey, Mike, we, we, we really want, you know, this thing to be uh, maintained. But given that, you know, there's been really not a lot of interest in as far as actually contributing um, to Fresca, uh, you know, I think um, at least from my end, um, I'm, I'm probably going to be pushing stuff in, in a slightly different direction. Um, and we'll kind of go see from there. But uh, I reached out also once again to a few folks at OpenSSF who had uh, reached out to me originally um, asking like, hey, what can they do to, to help out with Fresca? And so far, um, none of them have responded. So uh, after I sort of replied, so I'm um, going to keep trying to, you know, poke here and there, but um, I it doesn't look like there's a lot of interest. So uh, probably going to go in a different direction with that. Cool. All right. Um, and now uh, regarding additional sort of salsa blogs. So I know uh, folks who haven't seen it yet, um, there is uh, an NPM salsa blog that um, Ian has made. Uh, so um, npm builder 
salsa blog. Uh, let me get the pull request up for that. All right. Salsa, salsa, salsa. So there is a, sorry, a Node.js builder. And this is part of the announcements that, that Google had um, made as well. Uh, uh, sorry, GitHub had made as well. Um, uh, so that MP, uh, so GitHub has this provenance thing. Um, Salsa is part of that start part of that picture. Um, and so there is an NPM builder. Um, the idea is to also contribute it. It looks like to um, GitHub itself. So you'd have an official um, builder that is supported by NPM itself. And that would be a GitHub action that could then be used uh, to, for, for Salsa 1.0 provenance and, and, and all that good stuff. And so that I posted in the chat here, uh, it's not chat, um, inside of uh, the notes with information about that PR. Uh, so feel free to add feedback there. Cool. Um, any other updates or anything else? Um, I know that there is a lot of, uh, I see still that there's a lot of um, potential um, blogs, but I don't know uh, kind of what has kind of come out of there. Um, uh, so I know that there's the build versus source um, blog. I know Melba is out and I don't see Chris on. Um, I know that there was uh, kind of a broader supply chain integrity positioning blog um, stuff that that some folks had had brought up. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything else uh, folks have on any of the blog side or things that folks are planning to um, contribute to. You know, some of the stuff that we're working with SCI. You know, whether it's Fresca, uh, 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 whether it's Fresca S two C two F or Salta related, or anything just generally about. Um, the supply chain integrity. Cool. Um, if there's nothing else, we can end a uh, half hour early. All right. Well, I'll see you all next week. Later.